everybody. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here. See, there's a couple people on already. Hopefully I started running time, didn't make it wait very long. I am Simorgu, streaming here on the official DDO stream channel. Uh, tonight I'm probably going to be running my epic character, Shalana Anthanas. If you would like to join in uh, and you're on Thalanus, feel free to let me know and we'll see what we can do about doing stuff together. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to do whatever I feel like at the moment. Um, don't really have a plan. I ETR'd yesterday, so I need to get uh, going on some epic levels. Get some XP and all that. Let's see what my timers are. I, uh, my only timer is Shroud. I can play Shroud tomorrow. No other timers. And let's look at my ransacks. I have no ransacks. So yeah, should be good. Uh, I did have uh, do my 20th Shroud the other day. So that's. Uh, accomplishment for me. I had never run Shroud before a couple of months ago, and now I've had 20 completions and the stone. Which I haven't picked what piece of gear to use it on yet, but something. Got a couple pieces made, so I'll choose something here at some time. I'm going to mild spam by house P. like, well, you can sort of see my message on the chat, let's type something else in just to see what chat looks like. Looks like it's visible but not really readable. Let me mess with that real quick. See if I can get that looking a little better. There we go. Hopefully that looks a little bit better, at least. For some reason, uh, OBS, some of my settings on various pieces aren't saving, so I have to go and mess with them every time. A little bit annoying. Alright, um... speed. Okay. Actually, let me drag that out here so I know what I'm wearing. I got most of my level 20 gear set okay, but rings are still kind of floaty at the moment. Um, let's see, did I... Yeah, I'm in sun stance, power attack, double strike. Yeah, okay, I think I have everything. <coughs> This bar is full. I ran a quest yesterday, right after I TR'd. Didn't realize that I hadn't uh, The air in the illusion area is different than outside. As if you were transported into the deep jungle. Sorry, I got distracted. I didn't realize I hadn't read in my destinies, and uh, that was a little annoying. It makes a big difference in power when you have destinies on, then off. Uh, let's see, that's what I'm using right now, yeah. So yeah, basically race back up to 24, so I get my Thunderforged Axe equipped, and then it should be smooth sailing up to 28. I think I probably have gear at 24 and 27 to put on. Haven't quite smoothed all that out yet. I got a bunch of the 
Epic Orchard gear recently. Um, not quite enough to switch fully over to it yet, but at some point I'll have to spend some time figuring that out. But basically, I'm going to... At least my plan is to ETR a bunch in a row. So my level 20 gear set was actually more important. I have some guild chat going on. Let me respond to them real quick. Don't know if they're going to want to run something or not, but I am much less powerful than I was a day or two ago. I did a little bit of soloing and then I got into some uh, pugs to get some of the high XP quests done on ENH. Um, stuff that I'm not comfortable soloing anyway. So that's been nice. Yeah, I didn't have Cocoon when I came in here yesterday, which was really annoying. I had no hireling. Um, very atypical run. Made it through, but it was not as easy as it could have been. I also did Devil Assault yesterday, after I uh, fixed my destinies and uh, got a hireling, and it was more challenging than usual as well. So, huge step down in power when I ETR'd. But I do have 3% more double strike, so you have that benefit in there. And I got, you know, the benefits are mostly long term. Getting Epic Completionist, unlocking more fate points, um, Epic Stances, and such. Giant was bugging me a bunch yesterday, kept knocking me down. Are restoring the illusionary giant's health. I also used some cards earlier today, so I have a little bit more in the skills department. Just plus three tomes to skill. Um, concentration and balance. And I don't know what else I did. If I have ever have a epic uber completionist, this will be the character most likely that I'll do it on. So only one heroic life. On my second ETR, I've maxed all my destinies. All that fun stuff. Don't knock me down before I kill this. Uh, he didn't listen to me. Alright, now let's do some serious damage. I'll seriously get him. With a random loot gen axe, anyway. I never got my uh, antique great axe shard or seal or whatever one thing I'm missing on that, so I have to do with this random loot gen stuff. It isn't that great. But you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. It'll time me over for a couple levels. Uh, looks like on screen you can see my personal Twitch channel as well as uh, <coughs> email address to set, send any questions you want to ask asynchronously to, and my. The Fialan Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The ballroom is on the far side. Of the server, which is Thelonis. It seems rather unlikely that House Fe next to the security gates. A large dragon mark of shadow is embedded in Hardware the questions the could, could probably be answered by my Twitch page. Um, as you did with the marks in the also a website and a YouTube channel. Feel free to check those out. But most of all, just thanks for watching. I do watch chat, so if you have something to say, something to ask, requests, just to chime in, say hi, feel free to do so. I know new this week on the stream team on this channel. There'll be a new group starting uh, 
2 a.m. my time here. That's in, what, nine or so hours? That'll be interesting. Wednesday's a full day for streaming on here. Uh, the schedule is below if you're on a website. If you're on the app, you can tap the video and tap the I button for channel information in the schedules in that. We have various streamers, different times of the day, different days of the week. Hopefully keep you interested and entertained. I did another long uh, nine hour, nine plus hour stream on Saturday. Tommy just happened to work out. Um, I had forgotten that Shroud of was starting, so I accidentally uh, kept going when after they started. Normally I would try not to clash with a streamer, so I apologize for that. I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen next time. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious tiefling underneath. These guards are supposed to protect the Grand Gala, but they only have eyes for the old elf. <laughs> they are obviously not in their right mind. Wonder why we missed Wisdom Turd way up here. Carnival spell. And the cleric couldn't figure out how to get past me, so they went around. That's funny. All right. Seriously, she's still not. <laughs> oh, she walks so slowly. So on ATR, I put more into UMD and less into Intimidate, and I can no longer do the Intimidate check on the Spellmaster. So I'm just letting everybody go to the end and trying to kill the Spellmaster first so that he can or release the guards to distract the others while I kill them, everybody, basically. And here we have the weight. Yeah, I'm thinking I like that speed ring better. That really makes a difference in my walking speed. I don't have to worry about this stupid expedition retreat necklace anymore. Hey, Cordovan. Thanks. And I'm not monitoring Twitter, but I believe you were doing a giveaway. I should probably mention on Twitter. You have to follow the DDO Twitter account and uh, the giveaway point codes and such. Always nice to have some extra points. Um, yeah, I forgot to meditate. I did something different with my enhancements this way this time and I'm not sure what I did, but I'm not quite enjoying the way they turned out, I don't think. Something different. I made Greymaster Flowers, which is also different. Um, at earlier epic levels. Grandmaster helps me be a lot more survivable. Where is this bomb? Oh, there he is. And uh, that's really what I need at the lower levels. So I solo a lot. Um, but even in the group content, it helps to not die to every trap and all that. So I'm set up for survivability through reflex saves um, in the early levels, and then I'll see what I can do to get more power out of it later. 
And I'm, since every other destiny has its karma filled, I'm doing uh, Marshall. And I don't really care for Legendary Dreadnought. I think, uh, well, I want to end up in Fury again, so I'm probably going to do my Primals after I do this, um, but I'll still be leveling up in uh, Marshall, just for the Karma. Why he was such a useless hireling. Dies all the time. Can't figure out how to heal himself. It's yeah, he barely used any of his spell points. He's not doing a very good job. I think he died three times in Devil Assault yesterday. Much prefer the Favored Soul at 25. If I have to use a hireling. Um, I have not tried Snitch yet, so let's see. Hey, we've got a Vaughn. Really? Realistically, Vaughn's where I want to go. It's just so much better experience. It's on EH. Presuming we get a party put together pretty quick. That'd be the better thing to do. Oh, the person isn't responding very fast to my party join. Let's see how this works. Of course, they're not in-house K yet either, so... There we go. Oh, hey, one of my guildmates in there. That's always nice. Trying to manage uh, team speak and streaming is a bit of a headache at the moment, so normally if I'd be on with my guildmates around, I'd be uh, in team speak with them. Makes it easier to communicate, but trying to balance the two is a pain, as I found out uh, the other day when I did a stream. Uh, was it? Yeah, I think it was in that. My Saturday stream got in TeamSpeak for a minute, and then I was muted on TeamSpeak, but not on the stream, and it was just a headache trying to manage all that. I do think I want to get the uh, Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma headset, which uh, has an inline mute, so you can just mute at the headset microphone and be done with it, so you know that you're talking to nobody. Instead of having to juggle different meets at different levels, um, but we'll see. Looks like we're going to be waiting a little bit here for more people to join. Usually Vaughn's fill pretty fast on Thelanus once you get it about half full, and especially if you're in-house K or started, then they just tend to fill up pretty quick. But it is still early. Um, I find the Europeans are in the middle of their playtime usually around this time. That's what most of my guild is European. And uh, their prime time is around now for maybe another hour or two. Um, and they start heading off, and then more people in the US, of course, get home from work and start to settle in. So it works out. Oh, this is going pretty well. We're filling up pretty fast. Find Vaughn's usually fill up pretty fast, which is good. One of the things I hate doing is waiting for raids to fill. Quests to start. Because you, you know, you're in the group already, so you don't feel like you can do anything else while you're waiting. You want to be ready to start when everybody else is ready, but... 
Yeah. Oh, it looks like uh, my guild name selection is back on since I ETR'd, which is fine until I see another red name guild, and then I'll turn it back off. It's too confusing. Again, welcome everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Simorgu on the DDO stream, official DDO channel, part of the community stream team. Just a player and streamer who uh, decided to go ahead and respond to the request to people to stream on this channel. Have fun doing it. I'm on Flanus. You can see my personal Twitch site up there, uh, which also has links to my YouTube site and personal website. There's an email address down at the bottom if you have questions. Come back later, you're watching this on replay or YouTube or something, you want to ask questions, feel free. The e email address I'll look at the next time I stream and see if there's any on. Anybody asks or mentions that I want to mention on stream. As always, appreciate any views, appreciate people watching, uh, clicking favorite on Twitch, on both DDO stream and my own channel, following YouTube, all that stuff. Appreciate all that. Um, prefer that comments come to me, um, either in chat or through email. I have my comments on. Um, YouTube off. Those can get pretty toxic and just don't feel like dealing with that. Much prefer things come via email. But yeah, any suggestions, uh, any comments about levels or video audi audio quality content, feel free. Questions about streaming, setting OBS up, or are you just using Shadowplay? Um, I normally use Shadowplay, but Shadowplay doesn't su support streaming to a different channel than the one that your uh, login owns, so can't use Shadowplay for this, which is fine because I learned OBS and figured out some of the text overlays and stuff, uh, the countdown plugins and things like that, which are pretty simple but useful. See, I just walked through those blades. That's a byproduct of how I'm set up right now. I don't really care about low level re quest reselect saves. Um, which, let me tell you, after having the melee life this character's had, wearing heavy armor most of the time before armor up, and uh, not having a reflex save worth anything, I really enjoy doing that. Nice change of pace. Because, you know, I expect my monk to be able to walk through that stuff, but my rogue, but not my fighter. Never had very good luck walking through stuff. Finding traps by dying in them is not a recommended path. Still can trip though, that's good. Just having trouble with the DCs on trip. 
really high enough to do much. Alright, somebody's got a D door, right? Somebody usually has a D door here. Uh, we're not waiting for the chest, are we really? Oh, there we go, D door. So once you've done this quest several times, you sort of get the flow of it down. And I would have died probably three times on heroic before I took any monk levels and before I ED spec for survivability um, in there. Just ridiculous. I should be able to do any of these. Yep. Yep. I did turn in cards, so I have the full set of plus three tomes for stats, which is nice. I've been trading cards to people on other servers, so if you would like to trade cross-server some of the anniversary cards before they all go away and you can't crunch them anymore, I have a post in the uh, forum about that. You can contact me either in game on Shalana or through that post. We can arrange something, but it lists all my characters on the various servers with cards and the various type numbers of each card. So I'm up to 11% uh, double strike chance at the moment, which is decent. You can keep pulling that, but we're not going to do anything until we've got people on all three pieces on both sides. Looks like we've got two on each side. You could probably do it if somebody wants to call it. It's nice how no one else is stepping up to help. Okay, they just said they can't do whiz on the right side. Why are you... Alright, fine. I'll go do whiz then. Sometimes there's just no coordination. In a group. That yeah, gets annoying. Please, people, wake up and do the things. There we go. Eventually get it. I swear somebody counting 3, 2, 1 is... Sometimes just necessary. I haven't been on the right side in a while. I used to do right size exclusively because no one wanted to do it and it was just easier to learn exactly what needed to be done. Oh. At least I fell off the None. Crappy side. Ooh, that was closer than it used to be. Thanks for watching. Feel free to chat. Say hi. I am monitoring. But hey, if you don't want to, 
no big deal. Sure, most people recognize we're in Vaughn 5 at the moment. He's got the unlock. So basically we just sit here and wait for them to clear the other side out, do the voice ring, whatever is necessary, turn the wheels, and get all that set up. Then we can start pulling levers to unlock these pieces and get things going. Not much to it at the moment. It's also why this side's easier to learn. It's basically just clear and then wait by the lever. So you get the notice, it lights up, you see the beams, whatever you want to call it. Do the lever, kill the guys, go back at the chest, head back to the center. Oh, hey, look at that. I hope you're watching chat. Cordovan just put five turbine point codes worth 500 into the chat. First grab gets one. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little bonus. That's what we're waiting for. Now we can kill these guys. Look, everybody. Why don't you post in chat if you actually got one? That'd be cool. Nice to see uh, people getting some free points, and hopefully there'll be some holiday sales to make getting extra points worth it. Ooh, tomorrow! Black Friday sales up tomorrow. Hey, look at that. That'll be awesome. I'm looking forward to those sales. I have a couple things I'm hoping that are on sale, and. Uh, our immediate gets for me if they are. So back to Featherfall here. back out here. You go back the same way you did the first time. Did somebody get that? Nope. Make sure we get all those. Extra XP. I was at cap so long at wasn't worried about XP and now I'm climbing again. Need to make sure I worry about that a little more. Again. I presume we'll find out what the sales are on the Wednesday live stream. I would not miss that if I were you. Get heads up on those sails. Looking forward to that. All 
I really like that whole uh, do a critical hit and uh, get cure moderate wounds thing. That's pretty cool. I didn't have that before. So if we've got all these guys, then all we really need to do is go back. Usually there's a D door. Oh, we're not having killed these guys yet, okay. That's cool. There we go. If I do a power boost, I can trip a golem, usually. Oh, well, I'll just walk. And we need to walk back, go the other side. Star Ruby. Really missed that right now. Haywire Hayward seems nerf clanking and ratcheting noises echo along this long corridor. The machinery below must still be active. This bridge is strongly reinforced as if built to bear the weight of mountains. Another impressive span archers above the end. Oh, just a time. And everybody knows what most basic functions means, right? It's the sewer. Go die for the key. Yep, he's gonna die for the key. She doesn't have it on Epic. Usually somebody has a uh, knock scroll or something. speed and not worrying about some of this stuff, so... Yeah. More random loot to sell. Well, leave it to my crafter to deconstruct anyway. I gained, uh, 20 plus levels on the, uh, Plus crafting XP weekend. That was pretty nice. Got to where I wanted to be. I wanted to be around mid 80s, and that's where I am. So cool with that. And yes, again, we don't have knocker. Something. There we go. Go ahead and switch to this. It's a crap weapon, but at least I can do a little bit of damage to these guys and not just completely destroy that weapon I depend on. You for just crap. This gargantuan I like deeds for the monster menu popping up randomly, those are cool. Where's the door? 
So from here it's all gravy. We just run to the end basically. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but not very. On Epic, usually everybody has everything they need to just go. Volunteers than usual. All right. Well, if everybody's got it, then I won't worry about it. One of the things I generally always try to do is there's no reason not to drop down unless you're the one of the jumpers. Pretty much just expect that I am going to be not jumping and uh, do the switch. Well, they are good on ladders today, man. Last time I had to wait quite a bit. So anybody still in chat get one of those codes? Personally, tomorrow I'm hoping for sales on Thunder Home and Haunted Halls. That would be excellent. Maybe a UMD Dome, and maybe a Fate Dome. But those are the two big things that I want. Manjos. Oh, I love rage. You get all the buffs. All of the buffs. And I can really see what's going on. Double stack, very, very nice touch. Yeah, it looks like everybody's in. assignments on this, the way this is going. Yeah, see, so that was 128k right there at the end. Which puts me most of the way to level. Yep. I was running this every day for a while, just Vaughn 5, because yeah, somebody got 200k out of that. No. Nah. He might be, I'm not. See, if you run five, you can run it every day. Actually, you can run it twice a day. And uh, you can pretty much just level up that way. Right, which is why I'm saying you run it twice a day. That gets you to 40%. You get the plus 50% every day, so you're never completely ransacked.
mean, that much XP is what, two or three other quests worth? Easy. Anybody gonna do the do door? Nope. I'm gonna walk back. Thelonis. Should be in the upper right corner of the screen. Yeah, no problem. Screen is kind of busy. I kind of figured you were playing on Kyber because of your name. And is that valuable information to add to the schedule down below? What server everybody plays on? I don't know if it is or not. I know it's a frequent question, no matter if I'm streaming or somebody else is, everybody wants to know. Why is Vela not facing us at all? I guess we're literally kicking Vela's butt. I have never seen that before. Hm. Well, alright. Let's just kick Bella's butt then. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, but Sir emerges. Mergers have been removed for years, and uh, there haven't been any while, as I understand it. It's like nobody's doing the group heal. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Well, there you have it, kicking a dragon's butt, literally. Sort of shadow would be perfect, thanks. Fella, stuff needs to get out of my way. The thing about dragons is they're always falling their loot. Stone meld plate. Uh, Looks like nobody wants anything out of here. Yeah, it's pretty useless to me right now. Yeah, I know, I think that's what everybody needs, right? Most people. Take it, I guess. See if anybody. <laughs> There's another stone melt over there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Alright. So, looks like it's time to go. Thanks, everybody. Hey, 
Hey, Banshee Kate, congrats for getting uh, points. Nothing like free points, huh? Just before sale. Perfect stuff. Calms, beautiful calms. Oh, yeah, I probably want to leave the party. Of course, that killed my hireling, didn't it? Yep, I did. <laughs> Do you have anything in mind to buy? Just whatever looks good on sale tomorrow. Definitely need to clear some inventory. Yeah, I need more UMD. Yeah. Here's hoping what we want's on sale tomorrow. Or Friday or Monday, however the sale's gonna work. Sometimes there's staggered sales and different things are on sale different days, so might be one of those. Oh, serious, that sucks. I was having some weird things earlier, and I, uh, just before the stream started, I rebooted everything. Rebooted both laptops, rebooted the router, rebooted the cable modem, and knock on wood, everything's been going decently so far since then. Bound to character. Yeah, I don't care. I don't use sneak enough to worry about that. Princess Piker, what uh, is your full question? I only see part of it. skin or am I using that one? I don't remember. I haven't messed with that in a while. Oh, I am using Blackbird. Yep, I'm using Blackbird. You know, that's a, something I haven't thought about in a while. I wonder if there's any updates to those. Last time I checked, there weren't any really... Nobody was working on new skins or even updating the old ones. So, Yeah. I actually forgot I had a skin on. <laughs> no problem. I'm just so used to having everything this way, and then I have this layout saved. So after ATR, I just reload the layout, which is nice. So everything goes back where it is. And I'm one of those CDO people, so I have to have everything lined up more or less perfectly. See, that was bugging me right there. That's off a little bit, but anyway. Really, really like some way to force things to be lined up the way I want them to. I watch other people's streams and I get really weirded out by how they just casually throw bars all over the screen and I'm like, uh, why aren't you lining those up? That bugs me. That would bug me a lot. Uh, okay, so next we need about, what, 
70, 65, okay, to level, and none of the groups at the moment. Yeah, uh, EE, pff, no. Not EE on here right now. So, try the snitch. I think I'm going to go back to Evening Star instead. I think I was halfway through the Druid chain yesterday. So I'll finish that off. I'll grab another crappy. I really wish there was a like favored soul twenty that wasn't an idiot. Is why it was just so stupid. So if I'm on that, why am I going this way? Because I need to go that way. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Feel free to check in on chat. Say hi. Talk amongst yourselves. Ask questions. So with the hirelings out, the first two weren't bad. Um, I'm pretty sure I need the hirelings at this point. I don't think I can quite solo without them. Uh, let's throw this over here. Make it easier. Oh yeah, he doesn't have Death Ward, does he? That's right. It's the favorite soul that has Death Ward. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the Druid Level 25 when that's actually decent. Oh, I need to be putting my other one on. Let's see. No. There it is. Natural Bane doesn't do a lot, but because I'm already not doing as much without my Thunderforged Axe. It helps. Yeah, I tend to like the uh, darker UI stuff, so I always go for a black, dark gray, something like that. There's another skin that's kind of nice. I think it's Bluebird, maybe. Uh, SO uses that one, and it's pretty nice. But uh, I definitely like darker. Darker is better. I usually try to play a lot of the time at uh, night, early in the morning when it's dark. I don't have any lights on. Just the laptops. And, uh, try to keep the brightness and contrast down, so having a dark UI helps. All of that. At the center of this cavern is a focal point of magic that is overlooked with the corruption known as destroy. The force of its vitality falters and recedes. Corrupted root walls wither and grow brittle through I really don't think the small XP bonus in here is worth taking the time to kill the druids. So I don't worry about that. Just get in, get the XP, get out. Next quest. Um, you know, lag is lag. There's been some times where everybody's just running in place for a couple minutes sometimes, and other times it's fine. Uh, say it's been decent lately. Like, the past week or so has been decent. I Maybe once or twice where we've had significant lag. 
that I've noticed. Of course, you know, the other day when I was one of the few people on, let's see, was that last Wednesday? Yeah, it was last Wednesday. I was one of the few people on. The game was running really nice. There was, uh, what did I say, two and a half pages of people on? On that? And there's normally, you know, ten plus, something like that. So it was definitely not very many people on. It was pretty smooth then. Of course, there were hardly any groups up and all that, but it wasn't laggy. <laughs> not my ideal situation. I would rather group, um, given that the group matches my playstyle at the time. So if I'm feeling like Zerging, I can find a Zerg group, it's cool. If I feel like flower sniffing, it's a flower sniffing group, that's cool. I don't roleplay, so I never worry about roleplay groups. But, uh, yeah, my favorite groups are with people I know, or people I've gotten to know through pugs or running with several times, um, kind of thing. It's nice to at least know better what to expect from various people in the party. Stop hiding under the bear. Half of what we need for level. Six minutes, twelve seconds. But while wholesale lives, none of these lands are safe. a short reward list. I'll go ahead and do Druid's Curse while I'm here. And... Yeah, there's nothing I want to do anyway. I'm hoping for the usual uh, Spies in the House Vaughn 3 Wiz King runs. That's what I'm looking for tonight. That'll get me up to hopefully 23-ish. I really want to get back to 24 and get my Thunderforge Axe up back out. That's I can really feel the difference in power. I mean, yeah, some of it's the levels and feats and such, but that axe alone it's a huge boost in power. DPS specifically, but power in general. So much easier to solo when you're doing that much more damage. It was really apparent in Devil Assault last night because I was overlapping waves I was killing so slow. It's just ridiculous what a difference it makes. I was counting on that epic antique great axe to take care of devil assault for me. 
because it breaks the DR and uh, yeah I didn't get it so I had to do with something else that didn't break DR or didn't have a good high base damage so it's that oh, what am I doing I'm killing these guys instead of running past them so yeah it's Use a level 12 green steel, which, uh, you know, it works, but low base damage. Or use an epic one that doesn't break the DR and don't do as much damage because of the DR. Don't like that choice. To make it a point to keep running Snitch, hopefully I can find a group where I can get in on EH or E. Seems to drop more stuff that way. And again, I have cards on other servers, so if you would like to trade anniversary cards, uh, let me know. I have a post in the forums which details what I have on each server and the character name. I know I'm out on one or two servers. I don't know which ones they are off the top of my head. On the other side, I still have cards, though, and I would like to get those trades and get those cards crunched before E24 comes out, and uh, they're no longer useful. Because they won't be crunchable. Light shines brightly from above. You will pass through the tunnels to somewhere else. Oh no, I passed through the tunnels. That's not what I wanted. That's right, that was the ring out my other gear takes care of. You take that out of the list. Where are you running to? Woodwode is not being friendly. Yeah, I'm in Druid's Curse now. Oh, what am I doing again? So I used to run this every day, and then I didn't run it for a while, and now I'm forgetting how to run it. I used to run this whole chain every day, once or twice, just because it's easy to solo and XP isn't bad. I was also farming some comms for some of the gear I'm actually wearing now. So after this, unless there's a group that I must join immediately, I'm going to take a quick break, um, refresh my water, which is getting low, see if I can check out Twitter a little bit, see if anything's going on there, maybe get a snack. Yeah, most of this quest is okay, I don't like the root walls. Um, I really don't like this guy's buddy. Mostly though, it's somewhat interesting quest. I also don't like the optional very much. But you know, I tolerated running this every day for a while, so it's decent. I do like the setting. I think the settings nice and something a little different than a lot of the settings. And it does feel like you're in a forest, except that there's root walls for no apparent reason, which I don't agree with. Um, sure, magical barriers, fine. Don't like them, but okay. Root walls, eh. I understand it's druid themed, but don't really like them. With them along. One little rest in, no one else really needs resting. 
just me. Only really, because I've already used a couple of my uh, boosts, and I don't have too many of those to begin with. No buffs, so just the end. I do like the end is a little bit different than just to beat down the boss thing. Barely, but it is a little bit different. I don't know where your precious nobleman is. He can't have his star. His voice is pretty good too. I've decided to keep it. But you, you have no place in my forest. You will die to feed my. Actually, you're the one going down, dude. Not me. Hmm. Actually, we're done. Boss is really just a run. Um, so I don't boost until it's time to kill his fr friends. I don't like his little teleport and it gets out of bear form. I'm 21 at the moment. I just ETR'd yesterday. If you're all interested in my builder character, I do have a character overview up on my channel in my YouTube. Goes over a little more in depth. Uh, Everything. Basically, 18 fighter, 2 monk, 1 epic at the moment. It's my second ETR, so I've got 2 martial pass lives. And that should have. Oh, am I really that close? <laughs> I'm 170 XP away from level. That's. That's annoying. Say so eight minutes there, nineteen seconds, not bad. I've never really seen the point not those boxes. I know people love them, use them, but. And complete the quest, complete the chain. And I really don't think any words should be duplicated like that, but oh well. I don't care. Just villagers, whatever. So my normal daily path. No Vaughn's up. And there is the reason I turn uh, guild names off. It's awesome that they got 200. It's really cool and they have the thing, but uh, it is really annoying when you're in combat. Show player guild names. Turn that off. There we go. Much better. Alright, I'm probably going to do this uh, Evening Star well. Don't drink the water one next, but I'm going to take a short break for a couple minutes, probably two, three minutes max, hopefully. I'll see you on the other side of that. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.
Alright, I'm back. Just settling back in here. Looked like that was just a couple minutes, like I promised. Oh. Scoundrels run level 7. <laughs> yeah, don't need to do that. Hey, Titan, how's it going? Everybody needs to stay right here. After a surprisingly long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. You can see that the well water is fed by the fetid underground stream. I find that visiting this first part helps save a little bit of time in that you don't have to fight all those yon T and you also don't have to fight the dire bear. The source of the poisoned water lies above and beyond this waterfall. You will need to find a way up in order to follow it. And I finally farmed that yeah, cloak of invisibility from Tempest Spine. Took me quite a few tries, but I finally got it. Now, my hirelings can come here and help out. Works out a lot better than having to fight another half dozen Yon T and a Dire Bear. This part's timed in that, you know, you have to wait for it to summon the next wave. So it doesn't have a whole lot of time. It's also just less annoying. Can I, no, I can trip her. Good. Maelstrom X. Where does that drop, Titan? I know which chest the uh, cloak drops in, but I don't know where the axe drops. Epic normal. At this point, since I'm soloing in an off destiny, I don't have my axe in particular, let alone some of the other higher level gear that really increases my survivability, just seems to be the best choice for me. Plus, if I'm a little bit distracted by chat or whatever, I don't have to worry about dying. Oh, okay. I know which one you're talking about. That's deeper in than where the cloak is. That's past the swim, isn't it? I think it is anyway. I 
I still don't know that quest that well, but I remember pieces of it. In the general flow. But it's still farmable, I mean it's not that big a deal. You find yet another Yuan T barrier. You must be on the right track. Mm. Fire and ice solo is a melee. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, please just summon these guys. Given the damage and everything I'm doing right now, I probably could survive a big hard. Just to pay more attention. I mean, I know Fire and Ice is solo, but it's just a little trickier. Do that time requirement. Make sure you kite at least one of them. Oh, good, I can get part two. Perfect. Oh, now I have the an acrid, sickly scent assails you. Yeah. The Swap over to my acid resist. A large green dragon. Yeah, I mean, Grandmaster of Flowers at the moment. That must be the source of the Yuan Ti's poison. The great beast looks at you and speaks. The little ones promised to do this, but they said nothing of sending me us. There's no need to rush. You know, I've always told you. Finding the early epics. This helps my survivability, especially if I join a harder quest group run. Right, but there's a time limit, right? You have to kill one within so long of the other. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second dragon fought tonight. There's the level. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, if you didn't see it earlier, Vela was turned around the entire time we were killing her in Vaughn 6. So we were kicking her butt, literally. It was pretty amusing. Need to go take that. I know there's ooh do, do, do. legendary victory on this one. Thirty one hundred guild renown is too good to pass up. Alright, so fate spinner in here is down here. Thought it was down there somewhere. No, it's right here, that's right. It's by the trainers. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, it's that kiting thing that throws me off of that. Yay, level. Yeah, that's cool. Come on in, Titan. I just don't know what I'm doing next. That was... My goal was to get that level first. So I've done that. Um, nothing else group-wise is up. Guess we could do overgrowth and outbreak. I haven't done those today yet. Or we could just start doing the Vaughn, starting at one. I like that idea better. 
definitely like that idea better. I'm gonna head back to Everyone's side. I can't do shroud. I'm on timer. Got my twentieth completion a day or two ago, and I'm still on timer for it. Besides the fact shroud groups take forever to fill. Although, really, I've been running it with three and four people lately. Because there's no one else wants to join. And it's easy enough huh, with that. Of course, that was before I ETR'd. So now that I don't do so much damage, and don't have the DR breakers, yeah. I need more to carry me through that one. The only problem with Shroud, I'm, I'm not saying I won't do it, it's that I really don't want to sit on stream waiting for Shroud. That's my main problem with it. Um, if you want to start a Shroud group and then once it's got some people in it, I'll join on stream. I'll do something else in the meantime. I'm perfectly fine with that. If you want me in there, I'll use one of your timer bypasses if you want, but... Uh, I don't want to sit on stream for an hour waiting for Shroud Group to fill. You know what I mean? That's just not entertaining. Grab my comms and stuff in the bag. Yeah, there's a couple things to sell. I'm heading over to Vaughn. I don't have uh, that pack, so the only reason I have a Thunderforge is I bought it off the auction house. Astro Shard auction house. I have never crafted there. I have never run there. So, yeah. I'm stuck with my tier one hacks, which really, since I'm ETR grinding, is fine. Gives me a pretty big power jump at 24, and I can use it all the way to 28. If I were to make a higher one, I'd have to probably start over, start from scratch and get another one, or buy another one, but that was a little expensive. Uh, Titan, are you going to join? I'm about to start Vaughn 1. Unless something has come up. Nope. <laughs> Isn't that set? true for most quests and raids? No lag makes them fun. Cat, why are you right behind my head? Can you move somewhere else, please? Alright, well, I'm sitting at the quest entrance, so whenever you're ready, ping me. Here's a little more character info. Um, I said earlier, I have a full set of plus three tomes from the anniversary cards. I got a bunch of UND skill tomes from the cards as well. I'm card trading on other servers to Thalanus. 
to post in the forums about that that details the cards I have on each server. Uh, let's see. Just got the double strike past life feats. Right now I have two stacks. After this I'll have three stacks, which would be nice. So fighter Kensai Dwarf, obviously slashing great axes. Ten percent attack speed bonus. For melee. At the moment. Um, let's see, no spells. Basically all axe, all slashing. Try to get all that stuff up. Critical accuracy and damage to get that. Hit points, hit points, hit points. As much strength as I can get. All that. Almost no crafting. Um, Titanium too. Titanium two. Um, that would have worked better if I had a, put a message. Titanium two. All right. Invite. And there we go. Here's the enhancement laid out in the trees. You can see I went full dwarf con and toughness. Fighter took strength most of the bottom. Let's see. Which one did I take this time? I think I did take that one. I don't know. Oh, there you are, Titan. Alright. Wow. That's pretty... Pretty uh, high up there. I finally ran Mark of Death for the first time the, just a couple days ago. Had no idea what was going on. Died three or four times and really didn't enjoy it at all. Um, but hopefully some of that will come in time. This looks like the underground highway to Paras Arena. If you search for Dirge's content, keep your guard up. Oh, should have gone hard, huh? Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to restart this on the edge because this is ridiculous. Um, I don't think I was actually petrified. I'm not sure though, because man, when you die, it's pretty quick in there. Um, I got hit. I didn't have enough uh, fire resist or absorb, so I hit with that. And then I tried to avoid that, and I got in the water, and that killed me. And then I'm not sure what happened the other time. I was standing right next to the abbot. I was trying to put some DPS in and got hammered. Yeah, I started reading up a little bit on that, and uh, I'll probably switch to that if I run it again, so that I don't have that problem. I already have that tree set up with that uh, anti-petrify ability, for sure. So, yeah, if I did that again, I'd probably switch over to that. But yeah, that was that was something different. For sure. I'm still using natural bane, that's not good. Let's get off of natural bane. That's better.
cat. Uh, I'm okay until the cat tries to uh, mess with my mouse hand, and then it's not good. Alright. Firestorm grease from the old days. Boots and Emerald Cove for fire absorb. Yeah, I do need to... I've barely been to Three Burrow Cove, so that's a definite thing I need to do, is get in there and get some stuff out of that. Um, I started doing the Explorers the other day, and there's... There, um, I think Guild ran some of the quests, but then didn't get through them all. So, yeah. I need to... Get some of that going. So that shouldn't be too bad of a farm then, huh? I've killed a couple airships out there and haven't seen anything decent drop, I don't think. At least not for me. I do want the uh, Epic Necro Boots too. Those are nice. Definitely help me land my trips better. If the invis works, it's awesome. If it doesn't, it's really bad. But invis does help you not get the uh, dungeon alert, which is key to surviving this making this a lot easier. Otherwise you drag all these mobs with you. Well, that's a bit of a problem. What is my hireling doing way down here when I told him to stay? See, this is a manageable group. If you get Dungeon Alert and you have all those guys behind you, it's... What? 20 more mobs here? Something like that? Oh yeah, I want Jibber's Blade, doesn't everybody? That's another thing I definitely want. You notice words etched above this gate. Ready room one. Inside, scarred and muscular troll wait restlessly. Yeah, thankfully they don't have true seeing and they can't see through that most of the time. We 
don't need to arrest, do we? I don't think so. Screen. That's good. That's some good stuff. I still have my acid resist on. That's not the best thing to have on at the moment. Well, I guess if he's throwing acid, it's not a big, that bad. These are the guys I hate right here. Oh, eight negative levels. Wow, twelve. Yeah, see, I play melee because they're simple, and I have my commands on mouse buttons. I don't do uh, big APM very well. Yeah, see, that's their problem. Awesome. That's another thing I don't really don't like. Shh. Don't spawn yet. Alright. So you need this. Everybody huddle up, huddle up, why are you not? Alright, well, whatever. Oh my god, I said heal mass, what are you doing? Oh, you idiot. What? Oh, I just lost focus on the screen. Hello, what's going on? Well, this will be interesting. Be clear, can keep themselves awake, alive. All right, you're down. These stupid little shamans do a lot of damage for little buggers that they are. I think. Yes, kill that shaman. I really wish you would heal yourself, you stupid cleric. Titanium's down. That's awesome. Uh, can we kill any of these guys? Alright, let's see. Get through some of these guys, at least take some of the DPS down against us. Fortunately, my only... Uh, 
res I've already used. Nope. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. Definitely on the hires. Oh well. And hence why I don't normally run Epic Art. If that doesn't convince you, nothing will. I wonder if I can do this. Yeah, I can. How about that? Somebody else had that thing where you come back to your airship, you hit the amenity bar, and you immediately die. That's awesome, isn't it? I'll try to avoid that when I can. Yeah, the cleric's there to basically fill in for healing and res anybody, but if he goes down, then since I don't have that much positive spell power or any of that, my uh, cocoon doesn't keep up with incoming damage. So it all falls apart really quickly. <laughs> Titanium, that really sucks. Um, Half of the eight, eight, eight levels. Yeah, we might have to do an LFM for that. So the question is, death ward blocks negative levels, death block doesn't block negative levels, it actually blocks instant death. And the negative level absorption always also helps, right? Yeah, usually with about three or four people on Epic Heart, it's not a big deal. I was hoping hirelings would fill in, and if they weren't brain dead, they probably would have. Yeah, okay, we'll just do it that way then. Vote is for Ian. Yeah, that's one of the options. Um, I just use the old Silver Flame Trinkets. Ten's usually enough for most things I do. But at some point, I'll probably get a hold of the cloak. It's also why I think Epic Elite. You can obviously see I'm not spec for Epic Elite survivability. I don't have everything I need to survive in that, so I don't bother with it. Because I don't like spending time as a soul stone. If I can avoid it. If I can't avoid it, why do it? So yeah, we're just gonna go through these on EN, which is fine with me. We still get decent XP from them. They're quicker and easier. Not a big deal. Well, I'm tempted to go Vaughn 3 just to get a rest in. That's cool.
shadow phase instead of yeah that'd be nice some of that shadow armor <laughs> yeah I do the same thing when I'm working sometimes I pop open the Twitch channel and wish I was playing the game instead of watching it <laughs> There's an epic elite LFM up for this now. Just saw somebody, and they just walked right in. Man, I thought they did. They walked back to their ship. But yeah, no. And there's Titan. Let's do this again. Only complete it this time. That would be the key. Uh, sorry, this is the lower level owl bear too. I forgot about that. This looks like the underground highway to Taras Arena. You search for Dirge's contact. Keep your guard up. How long you got left at the office there, Helena? So none of this was very difficult, even on EH. That's one of the reasons I like uh, watching other people stream. Eh, kind of junk. Is uh, see how everybody has their bars and everything set up. I've played with a couple different ways to lay everything out on here, and uh, this one I settled on as a standard for my what I call my TV layout. So I play on the TV sometimes. So that's why you'll notice. If you're seeing the whole picture, which I think you are, yeah, you'll see the gaps in the left and right and top. That's where the TV doesn't catch that. So I am uh, have them in so I can actually see them when it's on the TV. If you've seen me play other characters, um, I have another layout that has two chat boxes and I keep combat up and one all the time on the right side at the <coughs> excuse me, lower right corner where that blank is at the moment and uh, that works too just thought it felt kind of full like I couldn't see the screen as much as I needed to or I guess if I need more bars I can put them there um, that's another option But at the moment, I'm liking this layout. At least for my fighter here. There seems to be just about enough bars for everything I need. Yeah, I can see that too. I used to have my uh, larger character window. Um, up higher, like right where my character is basically, I found that too distracting. And then I'm not running with hirelings, that space in the middle is there is free so I actually can see my character more. Hirelings being right under and center is convenient though. It's easier to mouse down and click on them.
pretty good. Even though we had to kill all of them. Didn't seem to have slowed it down too much. I think Invis is slightly faster, especially when you have somebody else clearing on this other side, but it uh, doesn't matter too much. It's not like we're really breathing hard with these guys. Yeah, Titan uh, Elemental Evil uh, should be pretty epic and awesome. I was going to look up that module and see if I'd played it. Uh, way back when. I still haven't done that yet. I keep meaning to do that. It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure which one it is. So... It's the one I'm thinking of. That would be really awesome. I'm actually more excited in the short term for... Uh, Update 24, Harper Tree being able to be favor unlocked, so I don't have to buy it. Not VIP, so... That's why I'm more excited about the sales and not having to buy that particular thing than other people. This time I'm going to rest. I'll make sure everybody is rested. So new free adventure is good. Um, new adventure pack, and I'm kind of ambivalent about. But in the short term, update 24, I'm really excited about being able to get a Harper. Not necessarily for this character, but just having that option would be nice. And then, uh, yeah, Elemental Evil should be really awesome. And I'm more excited about Haunted Halls and Thunderhome being on sale, so I actually run through those. I've been to Haunted Halls once. I was VIP briefly and uh, happened to run. Barbarian changes, yeah. Heal amp, eh. We'll see how that works. I haven't really done much with heal amp yet, so we'll see if it helps me. Hopefully it will. Yeah. So, if you haven't heard this before, um, I've taken several breaks from the game. I started sometime after I went free to play. I have this philosophy that either you pay monthly for a game or you buy it. You don't do both. So that's why I didn't get into it for the fir in the first part because I didn't I didn't think it's right to uh, both pay for a box game and uh, pay monthly for it. I don't like monthly payments either, but it's especially bad if you have to do both. So that was the reason I didn't play it first. Once I went free to play, I tried it, and I thought it was okay, didn't really get into it much, and then for some reason tried it again and then started getting into it. Took a break for a while, came back, um, got back into it again, and then I don't know if I broke again or not, but then the code came out, so that gives you an idea of the timeline. And I completely burned myself out on Cove. Completely burned out on just Cove. I was running Cove all day, every day. Um, got fairly decent at being a torch runner. And there were constantly groups for it. People were constantly turning in the stuff. And it was all new to everybody, so no one had an advantage. And we were all learning it, how some of the optimal ways to get through everything together. And it was awesome. Loved it. And uh, the problem was I played too much. Like you can see here, I've got five different Cove hats. Um, plus I've got 
lots of code here at different levels. And uh, yeah, so then I had to take a break, longer break then. And then I think I tried to get into it and then I moved, so moving, you know, I couldn't, we were packing stuff and arranging everything and selling a house and buying a house and it was chaotic so I had to take a break then. Um, then got back into it basically the end of last year, I think. And amazingly my guild hadn't kicked me out even I, though I hadn't played in, I don't know, a year and a half, something like that. Haven't even really logged on. Um, and so now I'm back into it streaming. Try to stream two or three times a week. Playing about every day. And uh, so, especially due to the breaks, I don't see the point in being VIP because if I was VIP, it's like I was throwing money away at that time. Having so many breaks, and I know at any time, you know, I may stop playing, and I just don't want to have a subscription when I'm not playing. It doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I saw that post in the forums about the soloing of mod. That was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. I mean, right now I have too many slots. I've got 15 characters and 13 slots. Um, the XP bonus is nice. Gold rolls are nice. The extra bonuses. Um, I don't think VIP is a bad deal. I'll say that straight out. I just don't think it's right for me. Um, given that I get overly obsessive for a while about something and then I move on to the next thing. So I don't want to have committed that money and you know it's really a better deal if you subscribe for a long time rather than just monthly and all that. Plus I am looking for a new job because I got notified last month that I don't have a job after February so really after January. So there's that to consider as well. You know why uh, sign up for something when I'm not going to be able to afford it. You know, I have friends who have totaled up how much they spent on various games. And, you know, I've spent money on various games and spent too much. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah. VIP is not a bad deal, but it's just not right for me. Particularly right at the, at the moment, the situation I'm in. So... I need to find a new job here shortly. I was hoping my streaming would take off a little bit better than it has. Not that it would support me, but it would you know, help income, so it would uh, be a secondary source of income while I was job hunting, um, although I do have severance for a little while to keep me going. But as slow as the start is, uh, probably not going to be viable. That's okay, though. Still streaming because it's fun. I like being able to interact with people and uh, chat and all that. So, anyway. Alright, Titan. You're ready for Vaughn. Are we going to be able to... Yeah, we should be able to do Vaughn too, just us. I wouldn't see why not. Yeah, I ran it last time to make this uh, Spyglass level 20. I wanted to get the slot for it so I could put Master's Gift in it. Um, that was my primary reason for running it. Um, I wanted to get that set up um, for this ETR grind. Because I figured, you know, I can always use True Seeing and Spot and Search. UMD, having Master's Gift on there is nice bonus on to keep swapping back and forth and missing optional XP bonuses and stuff. So there's that. I also started a flask of rum on this character. I have another character that has one fully upgraded. I was trying to get there here. Didn't quite make it. 
because I was trying to pace myself and not burn myself up, up out, whatever, whichever direction that is. Try not to burn myself out on it. Yeah, uh, I keep getting asked the server question, so I figured I'd put it up there, um, at least give another indication so people can find it without having to ask. Um, I don't mind saying it, just want to give people another uh, idea, another place to get the info. So yeah, we're on Thelanus. Uh, there's only two of us in the group right now. If anybody else is on Thelanus, has an epic character and wants to join us, we're getting ready to do Vaughn 2. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and hanging out. Uh, chat's going a little bit. Want to check in and say hi? It's all good. I don't remember how many in the group the other day when I did it, but I can't imagine. You know, with my experience the other day in mod that I can't imagine even trying to solo that. Mostly because I really didn't, I mean, I, I read up a little more on it now, so I kind of understand more of what was going on, but at the time I had no idea what the heck was going on. And, uh, yeah. I like this quest a lot. There are some annoying points to it, but I really like the quest. Well, that in the face. I hate quarry or phase spiders or whatever the heck they are. I really don't like those either. I don't mind beholders too much. Um, Gop is an exception, of course, but as far as just beholders go, I don't mind them too much. So, yeah, the maze. I can get through it sometimes without thinking about it too much and other times I can't. Um, my guild... It's been several years. Like I was saying before, they... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I really don't remember when I joined. But they didn't kick me out after being, not even logging in for like almost two years, I want to say. So, probably three plus years. I've been in some other guilds before them. Um, I don't remember when, how, why I particularly got in with them. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty relaxed and uh, I really appreciate them keeping me in for a long time, even when uh, I didn't, wasn't really playing. I've been in other guilds that kicked me out for not logging in for a week or a month or whatever, so. They did kick out most or all of my alts, just because they didn't, we did didn't have a list of who's owned which character, and they weren't sure who owned those. And with my other characters, there's maybe more, well, some of them at least, there's more of a theme. Uh, and a lot of people do theme character names just so they don't have that problem. You can tell who 
runs the character by the fact that they all have a similar indicator in their name, but my, most of mine don't have that. I started doing that recently. Um, didn't do it from the start, though. Anyway, um, yeah. So, really casual group, mostly European. Um, we do our guild night on Thursdays, normally. There's only a uh, maybe six to nine active players, maybe. Yeah, I don't understand that whole thing. Um, I mean, some guilds mind you being in multiple guilds at the same time, some guilds mind alts, some guilds have different rules, and hey, you know what, that's the way I want to play, that's cool, as long as they tell everybody that. But, uh, I'm better with mostly relaxed guilds. I was in a Chrome Hounds group on Xbox 360 that was a little too militaristic for my taste. Um, we had fun, but then uh, it just got a little too, oh, well, you weren't here, blah, blah, blah. You know, sometimes stuff comes up, you can't make it to a guild night, that happens. So what? Move on. I was actually called a bad player because I didn't show up one night or something. I don't remember. It was really not worth even thinking about anymore. I don't like being required to do something every day. Yeah, I've noticed our guild reward, or renown bonuses have gone down since we added people. We've been trying to recruit a little bit lately. Um, we do have openings. I want to stress we're very casual and mostly on European time zones, so... Keep that in mind if you're interested. Um, Hey, Big Jim. How's it going? You interested in running with us tonight? I know your time zone's way off, so... Not sure what you've got going on. Let's see, what's the best way down from here? This is where you go straight to the spiders, isn't it? Thought it was. Oh, let's start with these guys. Oh, I didn't jump. Am I going to make it? I fell. I really don't like falling in this quest. Because then you have to fight one of these stupid things. Yeah, I d really don't like these things. Not that it's difficult anymore. <laughs> I understand that, Big Jim. Where are you all going? Well, if you made it, you can handle that side. Don't have to worry about it. The key to this is to not be greedy. Do one or two of the timing dictates. Don't try to go for all of them. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? Our, seriously, our guild is so casual we don't care. Ooh, a scroll of Sword of Shadow. No, 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 no! Ugh! Seriously. 
on the freaking ladder. <laughs> That's just sad. That's really sad. Yeah, I mean, if people just want buffs, oh well. I mean, we would prefer people actually, you know, interactive and run stuff with us now and then. Uh, we don't really have a raid night or anything. There's not really enough of us to fill a raid. People are talking about maybe trying that uh, now that we have a couple more people, but reality is we won't fill a raid. Um, at the moment. Not that we can't run it without filling it, but we won't fill one. And uh, we don't have a chest, so there's nothing to steal from us. So really, you know, who cares? Yeah, we're cool, Titan. I'm the one falling all over the place. <laughs> Missing my jumps. Oh yeah, these. I really need a better ooze beater at epic level. And Thursdays is a static group, so I guess I should mention that. It's not like we can have you join us, really. At the moment, we have, we're have we at the point where we actually have too many players. Um, only the people who are there with this beginning, of course, are, have priority, but sometimes we have an extra spot that one of the other people fills in. But being that most of things are six players only, uh, we've got a full static group. No, I am not a car guy at all. I had a parent who worked for a car company, um, but as far as actually knowing much about cars and being interested in them, meh. Car gets me around, that's really all I care. Not into anything specific. Let's see, so have we done everything? Nope, we haven't done the Memphis Blossom. Okay, that is the one that's past the spiders. Which is... This way, isn't it? Nope, it's this way. Yes. That's cool. Big Jim. It's a good way to do it, I think. Really, if we need anything, we just share it, trade it while we're online together, we, or mail it to each other. We don't really worry about the chests. Uh, we had one for a while, the old style chests, and we just find that it was, wasn't worth keeping up. A lot of people have play, been playing since the start, not including me, but other people uh, have been playing. And they used to play on the European server, they got merged and all that. So they've got a lot of the backlog of stuff, but uh, some of us newer players don't. Let me jump off this way. Yeah, I've heard stories of people recruiting and people just come in and steal all their stuff out of their chest and leave. Really rude. But we don't really have that problem. Because what can you do? Oh, you can get buffs, okay? Sure, we do that anyway. If you wanted buffs, fine, just tell us. We'll give you some buffs. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's cool. I don't want the dialogue. I 
I just want to kill it. That's not a bad idea, Helena. Use it for your uh, fundraisers, that's pretty cool. Yeah, one of the guys bought us the second level airship. Titan, you want to take this? You got more hit points. I got told that the other day. Hey, you have those hit points. You do the trap. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's what did me too. I have evasion as well, but I also have what? Two thirds your hit points. All right. So that wasn't bad. Thirteen minutes. Twenty k. Yeah. It's a fun quest. Lots of different things to do. I like that. I like that you can split up and do them, or uh, everybody can trudge along and do them together. But it's a little bit of variety. It's a nice quest. Yeah, one, three next. We're kind of out of space, and I think we've got everything for our level that we really want. Uh, I have to keep swapping in the uh, green steel crafting hall if I want to use that. I was on a the big ship the other day. Somebody that used to be in our guild invited me over there, and it was interesting. Let's say that. Now, uh, unless you're going to join us. If you're going to join us, we can do it on hard, Big Jim. Otherwise, we're just going to do it on... Uh, normal. I don't have a Marut beater, so... Until I get to level 24, I'm probably going to be doing much EH. Uh, Wiz King's up. Oh well. I'm already in here. Not a big deal. Alright. Almost done with the prequest, so pop me your titanium metal ready. Just to be complete. Kill the other camp too. Yay, zero extra XP. It isn't a big nerf, is it? I didn't think it was huge. No problem, Jim. We're here. Whenever you get in. Um, guess I'll show my destinies. I haven't done that tonight. 
So I've capped everything, that's why I was sticking at 28 for way too long. Um, currently in Grandmaster Flowers, got this layout. Twist and Sense Weakness for obvious reasons, more damage. Um, I like to twist in live just for the first couple levels. Again, traps, uh, spells, evasion. That reflex life really helps at lower levels. And then, of course, Dance of Flowers is just awesome, and then other stuff's in here. Just kind of filler stuff. Um, nothing really good. Oh, there we go. There's Jim. So, this is the way I feel most survival at the lower levels. And then, yeah, tight in, fine. And then I'll switch to, well, I'll switch live to something else. I'm not sure what yet. I can't twist in the one I want, which is, I think, a four in Divine Crusader and Indian Sentinel. The one that gives your weapons uh, good and plus 1d6 good damage. I don't have enough fate points for that. Which is the reason if the fate tome is on sale, I may think about getting one. Although Gildy had one drop once, which was awesome. It was in something like Delirious. I mean, something ridiculous. He had a Fate Dome drop. It was awesome look for him, but wow. Oh. So I'll switch that for something else at some point. And then uh, get my uh, Thunderforge axe out. Start doing some real damage. Alright, we're going to do EH. You know, I always come around this corner and kill this guy. I uh, have never looked up to see where the murder is. Scorpion, there it is. Hmm, twenty five percent XP, that's a pretty big nerf for this one. So yeah, if I'm in the right position I may ransack it the day before that goes live. Alright, he's still He went to get a drink, so I know he's not going to be too long. Let's get this seer out of the way. Sometimes my abilities don't go and that's annoying. happier about the drop rate increases that are coming up in the next update. That'll be nice. Even if it's just base items. I don't have a lot of the base items still. You still not finding the traps? Or are you not a trapper? I forget what your character is in this. Yeah, you got the two rogue. Huh. 
He's back, I'm gonna go to this other chest. Oh, there's another scorpion. Or no, he never did kill this one, I guess. Why is he suddenly going to tail on me? There we go. Damage is so low. That's cool. There's a chest here up front that we waited for you for. I know it's garbage, but at least you get a chance at more garbage. And there's the second chest, which is trapped usually. Yep. Alrighty. Yeah. I need to do another evaluation of my bank. I did get rid of some things and got some more space. I accidentally picked up a uh, Supreme Shard, another Supreme Shard, so I really need to build something and get some of those shards out of my bank. And uh, finally got found a room to put some of that uh, Epic Orchard stuff in. Paralyzing Great X of Blood Blink. That's actually not bad. I've got the Sword of Shadows, I need the freaking... whatever the hard one to get is. I don't keep track of that stuff. Seal, Scroll, Shard, whichever the hard one to get is. Of course, I need that. Wow. I ran out of spell points so fast now. Amazing. We should be good for this. As long as I stay out of the range of the archers and the mages, which I always forget about. I don't know why that I can't remember that. They can see in there, but I just do not remember that. Like every time. Mages and archers can see it. Alright, well, let's do it this way then. At a uh, heal is another nice benefit of Grandmaster of Flowers. Now I'm screaming, so I should be able to survive some of this. You can kill those other guys. Um, I have sometimes, but I normally don't bother with them. You have caught up with the inevitable. It stares coldly at you, perhaps calculating the threat you pose to its mission. Excuse me. Um, usually let the other people take care of them if they want to. Um, I have jumped up there and got them before, but... I want to make sure that the merit's triggered so we can get to this part, which... I might need to worry about. Because again, I'm not doing enough damage. If I get earth grabbed, it might be a problem. The good thing about the earth laws, though, is when they do earth grab, they do s not do any other damage for a while, so. Yeah, I need to do that. Bane of my existence is stupid. Magic missile or force missiles or whatever. I 
I'm so used to skipping this shrine that I completely forgot it was here. Yeah, uh, comms for useful potions and stuff, I need to... Um, go back and look into those again. I haven't done that for so long that... Uh, first didn't have any combinations, and I started looking at the stuff, like, oh, I want this gear, and I was concentrating on gear, and forgot to look and uh, remember just run to the shrine, Titan. I don't know why you didn't run to the shrine. It's right here. Yeah, guys, I have in-game audio off, so I'm not hearing uh, y'all. It just, it's easier for me to concentrate on one voice thing and chat and chat than trying to listen to voices and that. If we do something complicated, of course, I can always do that, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this in their sleep, and it's not going to be a big deal. Really? Got the scorpion, too, or Scaro, or whatever. I keep wanting to call them driders, but they're not, are they? They're distinctly different. Same idea, just distinctly different. No, these are, these are, yeah, these are Scar, aren't they? They're basically Driders. With Scorpions and with Spiders. I always wondered for a while where these guys came from, because I never had seen them. Heads up tight. And then one day I was trailing behind the group. Like, oh, that's where they come from. They dropped from over there. Alright, cool. I want my Thunderforge axe with the Star Ruby back so bad. Got really lucky in the auction house the other day. Got another star ruby for really cheap. Plat. I missed the uh, whatever that one is that gives you the plus thirty resistance to everything. Though somebody else got that one. It was also really cheap. <laughs> I agreed on that. Titan. Most sodas taste better when they're nice and cold. With beer, however, I found that you have to have the right temperature for the beer. Not necessarily too cold. If you get it too cold, it doesn't taste right. Guinness in particular. But others are like that. They have a certain temperature that they're really good at. Outside of that, not so much. That worked like I wanted it to. One guy got paralyzed, he was almost dead, so I tripped the other guy that was trying to beat on me. So he didn't do any damage while I took care of the other guy. I like it. I like when things work like they're supposed to. This is where we go, right? To the other group, right? Yep. Yeah. And here they come. Nope, I still got aggro. Just trying to avoid that. Again, everybody, welcome. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. My info is on the screen. I think it's also listed down below in the schedule. See more goo here. 
I'm running some epics, trying to get some XP, get my uh, character that just TR'd yesterday back up into uh, stuff. Basically racing to 24 to get my Thunderforge Axe back in operation. It makes things so much easier. That Daily Devil Assault run in particular. I know some people skip this, or if they get this, all they do is kill these guys and run on. There's a collectible up here, you know, why not just go ahead and grab it? I don't know. It doesn't take that much extra time when you're already up here. Yeah, this is a quest with a lot of collectibles, which is nice if you craft or anything that needs them. Any decent drops and platinum pieces, nothing else. Yeah, I've never done the stun thing. Trip works well for me, that's what I know, that's what I'm sticking with. Um, one of my guildmates has stun and he uses it very effectively, but that's something I've worked with. Oh, and dance. I love dance. When it's us using it against the mobs. When it's the mobs using against us, don't like dance so much. That last one, ah, oh, no, he's still over here. Go ahead and rest here. Just because I have so few spell points, that's the only reason I'm resting. Hopefully in a couple levels I have some spell port gear. I normally get danced in that spot. That's one of the spots I normally get danced at, yeah. Somebody else hopefully did. Hopefully somebody picked up the key. No one picked up the key. <laughs> really? Oh. That happens sometimes. That's yeah, funny. I'm not the one that opened the chest, so... I opened the door. Figuring that whoever opened the chest would get it. I used to skip that one, but anymore I just take him out first. It's a lot easier. Yep, one's up there. I'll get that one in a second. There's one over here. That's two. I know where they are. Or is it three? Yep, it's three. 
Someone got that one over there? Yep. Oh, we got a rare beholder. Ah, I missed the jump to the rare beholder. This way also, you guys, audio doesn't double up. find some negative absorb or something in your gear set there, titanium. Something to help that. Uh, they used... Yeah, it only hit me twice for negs. So just a little bit will do. Hey, Helena. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you uh, hanging out with us for a while. Enjoy your game time. when that happens. All of a sudden you're off the screen. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Were you here when he stopped by earlier? Um, gave away some TP codes and uh, said that the uh, Black Friday sales start tomorrow. So I'm betting on his stream we'll hear the first of what they'll be. Should be a good thing. Queen here? I haven't seen Queen tonight. Well, there you go. Yeah, I want one of those Golem's Hearts, too. Yep. That's on my list of things I want. trying to think what my other cloak is. That'd probably be better to wear that with if I had a... What's the one that gives you plus 30 to resistances? That would probably be better. Well, the Golem's Heart's nice. I did that miss.
that's really pain when you're kiting like that. There we go, I got his focus now. See how crappy my damage is at the moment. Oh, there we go. Got something through. Once more, I get through. Oh, it doesn't even that. 23k, 23 minutes. Not bad considering we weren't really rushing it. Yeah, that thing. I was so close to winning the one was an auction, I missed. Somebody else outbid me, and then I didn't have time to outbid him before. Uh, I was sitting right there, too. We were in a bid war at the end. Oh, well, hopefully there'll be another one up. Oh, good. We have the skills to do haywire, don't we? Somebody can do the traps, and somebody can... Invis the one side. I have Haywire, don't I? Yeah. Sure, I don't care who you play. Alright. Ah. Penguin, when you're in on that. Did I get the, yeah, I got the star back. some junk. Oh, looks like my uh, quiver's full. Alright, so looks like we're going to do Haywire here. Vaughn 4. And see if we can maybe do Spies and Wiz King after that. And that may take us to time. Not that I have a set time, but I do have work tomorrow. Although, really, with ever, you know so many people gone on vacation and stuff. Work's been pretty light. Don't anticipate much getting done tomorrow, but, you know, it's still my job for another month or two. And I need to be professional. So, wow, how do I have exactly 600 hit points? That's odd. Didn't notice that before.
Skip. Thanksgiving dinner is going to be awesome. Go into a relative of a friend's place, like we've been the past couple of years. They put an awesome spread. Funny, interesting thing, they don't eat leftovers, so all leftovers go home, home with people or get discarded, so we take a lot home. Don't have much family around the area, so go to friends' places instead. Am I out of stance again? Yes. Oh, that explains some things. Yeah, we can go. We can at least clear to the gate. Nothing else. Oh, there he is. Who would want to live in such a place? An earth elemental rises from the ground. The lever locks into place and the gate opens. You hear the sound of clockwork gears winding down. The gate crashes shut. I have spared no expense in keeping his secrets. <laughs> RC2 stops abruptly and locks back and forth in a daze. Actually, I should probably use disruption. Smiting, there it is. Someone clearing his throat. The sound appears to be coming from a stone face set into a wall. All right, I'm grouping it. It's been a while since I grouped it. I think most people aim more to zerg it. Somebody does the invis thing. There's a collectible down there, guess not. Looks like we're going to fight him, huh? That's cool. I actually like fighting him, it's just that it's hard if everybody's not together. Inevitably one person gets behind everybody and then gets swarmed and dies or something. has to pull the lever or anything, so... Love them. Nicely put disco balls. Those are awesome. You can get a clicky for night shield or something. Stop those stupid... missiles. Yeah. 
Oh, lag. Lag, 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 lag. Interesting what happens on stream when that happens. Can you see that I'm running in place? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just wanted to check that. I forgot where it showed up. On the other side of the, uh, this map. This side of the map. Alright. Now we go back. I need to do this side, but that side's doable as well. Much faster. I've seen people zerg this whole thing and then walk around all those, which doesn't make sense to me. If you're zerging it, you're zerging it. Don't you want to go fast the whole way? If you don't remember exactly where it is, it's fine to stop, let somebody else trigger it, and then you can see where it is. But it's right then left. I threw a trip in there, it didn't work. It's interesting. I like it in that respect. Again, always, always, always open this up. <laughs> and then have somebody else immediately shut it for you. That's awesome. I'm going to get out of the line of fire. Magic missiles, force missiles, whatever they are, they hurt. This game's not being nice. Uh, I keep hitting power surge, then haste boost, and it keeps not happening that way. I'm getting annoyed by that. They're casting all the stuff. That's the, there we go. That's the one I want to die. Thank you. The, going back the other way is definitely faster as well. Feelings a little low. Just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and rest here. Not strictly necessary, but.
Why is it meant to defend the immune to construct? That's what I have on, isn't it? Interesting. Smiting, yeah. Okay. for the seeker as well. I'm doing good otherwise. So I wouldn't. Oh, I can't even see the seeker room. I know it's there, but I can't actually see it to get into it. And yes, I know it's trapped. My deception that did that. I can do the puzzle. It just takes me a while. I'd rather somebody knows it does it. I'm much more efficient at it than I would. I need I need a better ooze meter. That's what it was. Throw me into the holy part of it. Okay, got it. My jump was maxed. Why am I not feel like it? <laughs> it's 
So conventional wisdom seems to be run through here, ignore the defenders on this side of the jump. Let them run off into their own thing. And then kill the ones on this other side here after you get them up in a group. <laughs> yeah. Having done this, I mean, the first time I did this, it was amazing. Because you're feeling the pressure, and your lower level, all that stuff. But then, anymore, it's sort of like, eh, whatever. Here's another run. Really, it's just the beginning that's annoying. The rest of it's not a big deal at all. Occasionally, you can get off on the beginning a little bit. And you got the people who abundant step or whatever over to it and finish the quest before the bridge even drops. Which, hey, if I had abundant step right now, I'd probably use. Whoever wants it can have it. I don't particularly want it. Solve. Take the lightning rod. To continue. Seventeen fifty-two. It's not bad considering we weren't really zerging it much. I'm happy with that. <laughs> no open groups right now. Epics. I hope that means that everybody's in a group happily playing, not that there's no groups available. Do you need to go repair, though? Spies is mostly undead, so the Disruptor would probably be the better one. Do those animated armors count as constructs? Because I do have a problem taking this down. I could use more bank space. Oh, I don't know. Hour ish, maybe. I'm going pretty well right now, so I'd probably make it for another 40 minutes at least. Beyond that, bleh, I don't know. Is anybody starting anything else up? I don't think they are. Queen's group usually starts 9 or 10. Oh, or whatever they're doing, she's doing that. I don't know what tonight is for her. And then we've got that the new group debuting at uh, 2 a.m. my time. 
which I am not going to be awake for, unfortunately. Uh, blah. So, I'll say probably 9 o'clock, 4 hour stream, around then. Unless something magically wonderful happens that we all run a run after Spies and Wiz King. And I can't quite think of what that would be, what it would have to be to, for us to do that. Oh, let's go ahead. We've been doing good on hard so far. Now that we've got the extra support, we'll just do hard. Cats behind the TV again. You know, I've got this cold absorb on, and it really doesn't seem to be helping enough. It really doesn't. Oh, that's right, I don't have cold sword on. It's because I have a different gear set. I have my level 20 gear set on. That's why it's hitting so hard. I was gonna say, why are they hitting me for so much damage when I've got cold absorb? And they're not because they don't. Or I don't. I need to remember that I TR'd. I was afraid I was going to go off into some of these quests forgetting that I wasn't fully geared. Fully high level geared, I should say. seeing someone doing traps. Oh, come on, get me out of the water. Without lag, right on the edge. There we go. That's what we were missing yesterday. I knew we were missing one, I couldn't remember where it was. That was it. I'm sure of it. Whoa, that was odd. 
Oh, I see. There's that other one that goes over that way. I usually just run past all this stuff. I haven't gone this way in a while. Don't remember how to do this part. Ah, cat. Oh. Sometimes that cat's really distracting. Sometimes a different cat's really distracting. Or the dog. So, nobody's gone over and done that. He's going to do that one. wasn't supposed to go up that far. I don't want to be in range of the archers at this point. There he is. And there was somebody around here somewhere. I was trying to get him out of the way of the archers, though. Oh, great. I'm hard lagged. There we This is not a fun quest when you're lagging. Can I just say that? This quest is no fun when you're lagging. At all. Not in trouble yet, but I will be shortly. This part is too many archers. Hi, right in front of your face. <laughs> she came to get me. I don't know the other part of this, but I can try it unless somebody else is going to. Which looks like it's, they're all over it, so. I'll just go here and do this. Yep, that was it. I'm sure. 
We didn't get this one prisoner yesterday. I couldn't understand why. Now I realize. That one's already found, just need to disable it. Master Flowers is that I have that uh, immunity slippery surfaces. Although I do have a backup plan, I have a whatever the walking stick is from Evening Star turn ins, calm turn ins. That's my other option for that, which is great unless I actually need to fight in something like that, then I need freedom movement. Extra chest, please. So you can get to this chest a number of ways. I find the easiest way for me to get to it is like this. So nice having somebody who can do this stuff. I so often have to get by without it. A lot of groups don't even stop for it. It's a heck of a thing to walk into, isn't it? Here's my energy resist. Good. Skelly. Actually, use this again. Not used to having this few spell points. I usually had 400 ish. Which, for a fighter, you know, it's amazing, but I use it only for Cocoon. Hey, I was not on there. Looks like a little bit of lag hit me. can actually make that jump, that's cool. I usually have to run the gauntlet. I know better than or that guy do by myself. I've tried it several times and it never ends well. Better off taking out the insular guys. Someone else get aggro and then helping out.
rain damage on them. Yeah, if you've got that, I'll take this. You hear a woman's voice asking for help at the well. Kaylan deftly climbs her way out of the sewer, pausing once to look back. The options of this are so worth doing. All that XP you get for the optionals is awesome. Now comes the fun jump. Fire and, green <sighs> your and lag. Start to slow down. Oh, I forgot it. If you're up here, okay. I'll get it then. So I know I can't survive if I go first up here. It's a fact. I don't time these, I just go off to the left, hit the electric forge just a little bit, but climb out the boxes and go that way. It's much easier than worrying about timing it. At least to me. I got sick of being alone off my time to run, so started doing it that way and had much more success. I am not good for coal or electric, so. What you try to do here is grab aggro on all these guys and then hide back here while they toss their stuff at me. They're not hitting anybody else. That far one usually gets... nope, she got somebody else this time. Which, just this one has me? Hmm. Usually I have two or three of them. Somebody else must have been close enough to grab it. There's a shrine there for it. I always forget about that shrine over there. I mostly play melee. And don't use too many boosts throughout this. We're right at the end, though. Yeah, it looks like that main damage works on them. Construct. That's nice. It's a way to help me take them down faster, because you don't take them down very fast.
I really dislike when people just jump over this. All those, all those behind them can't get through it until they do the. Bit of lag there. End of the tunnel shows you've reached the end of your journey. You have found the far end of the mud road. And we got strong. Not that we expect anything different, but you know, once in a while it would be nice. Decent reward. Yeah, fifteen cones will work. Hey, thanks. Rick Hughes, I think. Thanks for hanging out, watching. Appreciate it. Whiz King next looks like, um, and then either end it there or maybe do Devil Salt and then end it. Something like that, anyway. Again, this is Simorgu, part of the community stream team on DDO stream. My information should be up on screen, visible. Twitch TV slash Simorgu. Um, you can email me at DDO stream QA7 at Simorgu.com. Cordovan usually saves replays and highlights, um, and I have a local copy of my stream and save it on YouTube, so should be available for rewatch if you happen to miss one week and you want to see what happened. Um, yes, I'm also on YouTube. I am on Twitter and stuff too. I just don't usually use it for much. I play on Thelanus exclusively, pretty much, um, although I do have cards on other servers if you'd like to trade. I do have a post in the forums about that. Coming up 
to a time where you can't do that anymore, so... Get all the life out of those cards you can. I've, this is pretty much the character that I play. Um, I have a couple others. Like I, I have my group, my character for static groups, and, or the static group I'm in, and I have another with my SO that we're trying to get to epics with, and I have a bunch of other lower level characters that I haven't touched hardly in most of a year. So really, this is the character that I play. Um, I got the full three set of three stat tomes, and I did a bunch of skill tomes. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I like epics a lot more than heroic. Ever since I finally had this character epic, I've enjoyed it a lot more. Heroic is particularly after like twelve or fourteen was just a slog. Did not enjoy it much. But I found an epic so I'm enjoying most things. I've been playing some of these quests over and over and over again, and that's getting a little... Eh. Need to branch out and do more different quests here and there. Yep. That happens. This is one of those... Uh, sands here is one of those zones where people often disconnect when they step in. Uh, I do not want Holy Burst and Smiting, I want Holy and Disruption. This should do decently against everything in the Wiz King. At least. Got, what, 260k left to the next level? This should be a decent chunk of that. Oh, did I really not pull anything? Or the Elder Sleesh? This impressive structure houses the tomb hmm. of the Wizard King. Yeah, they're moving slowly, or they really didn't get pulled. All right. Cool. So again, uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Glad to have you here. Feel free to chat or email me. Take questions, um, requests, whatever. I'm easy. Appreciate everybody following both DDO stream and my channel. Uh, appreciate everybody watching the rest of the community stream team. The schedule should be below you on the web page, or if you're using an app, tap the video and then hit the I button, and that should give you the text schedule and bio and whatever else is there. Uh, looks like it's going to be a full day tomorrow. Um, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. In about five hours, I think, um, there's some new people debuting. It's around 2 a.m. my time, so unfortunately I won't be up because I do have to work tomorrow. But uh, Damsels of DDO will be on. That will be new and interesting. I'm probably going to watch a replay of that. I don't know if I'll ever catch them being that time of the morning. Uh, unless they go for until like, you know, 6 or something when I'm actually awake. And then Court Events, Weekly Wednesday live stream, and then Fall Fling, and then in the evening tomorrow, Grizzly's Grind. Thursday night we got DDO guys. Saturdays we now have Shattered Palooza, which is new as of this, this past Saturday. And then Saturday, Raid Night with Blue Queen. Uh, yesterday was Minion Monday with Blue Queen. I, did not get, I usually don't get to watch those, uh, unfortunately. I really want to. have to 
get on on that. And then, of course, me Tuesdays, 5 p.m. until whenever. I'm trying to make it three or four hours at least, but it could be more or less depending on the day. I am starting to feel tired. So, this or maybe one more will be it for me tonight. Um, we'll see how it goes. Chat is kind of dead right now. Let's see if I can get it on. Guys, I'm going to be switching audio where I can actually hear you again, so you may get double voice. You may have to turn off stream sound. I don't know. Here we go. No, oh, I don't care. I did the age, didn't I? Heroic. Yeah. Did you say heroic normal? <laughs> heroic normal. <laughs> That's all the buffs we get. There we go. Thought I had blur on. Need to figure out why that's not on right now. That's a big leap to survivability right there. I think I got my oops. Yeah, I got my dodge up to sixteen percent, so that's helpful as well. All right, let's do it then. You enter the tomb's antechamber, only to find it occupied by a pack of gnolls. So I've been watching a lot of the Criminal Minds recently, and the way we just sometimes the game goes reminds me of them entering a house or something, you know, all stacked up and taking the corners. And this particular layout lends itself to that. on those guys. Oh, Surprise, he's still alive. <laughs> you on a split or? be lagging a little bit because for sure hit him. Wow, I didn't get mummy rot yet. That's pretty good. Take Avengers being stuck in the web, that's awesome. We are not wasting any time. We are also not doing single towers, looks like.
I know I can't solo tower up. Shoot. At the moment by myself. I can help, but I am not gonna solo one on the edge. That's not what I wanted. That's too much aggro on me. There we go. Time to cure those. Somebody's over there doing the lever. Or lever. As my European guildmates call it. I need to see that yet. Nope, I don't. You know, don't seem to be doing that much damage. Dude, that's on that scroll, uh, Angel. So I have the disruption axe equipped, it just hasn't I haven't seen the disruption actually go off yet. Which is a little bit annoying. Considering all the undead in this quest and it hasn't gone off on any of them. Sure I get main damage, but I'd like to get a disrupt here and there. That would be nice. You can hit him while he's like that, he's just annoying. You keep being knocked down and flung away and such, so. Otherwise, he's an easy kill. Do we know who we have here? Did somebody look that up? I don't know. I 
And the treasure bag stay. Isn't that awesome? We've got corpses and treasure bags hovering right here. We Do we have a detour to go back, or are we walking back? Are we detouring or walking back? Awesome. You're in three, so we need to go to two. I'm not sure which one isn't done yet. Hello, lag. Not quite done with mine. Are you in two or three? Uh, hold on a second. When we get to the fight, I'll look at the map. I don't remember the number. Scourge of McConnor and the bandit known as Hemi the Deco. If he's already in that one, we need to go to the next one. God, I don't remember. We need to go to this one. I guess it'll be really easy to find out, won't it? Yep, it's this one. Guys, hmm. I did make it barely. Excuse me. 
Got a guy still sniping at me from over there. Not bad. Evaded most of it. These guys are destroying like six arrows at a time. It's annoying. I got the room already. I'm just trying to figure out why I'm not centered. Did you get hit by a ray of exhaustion or something like that? I don't see anything. Oh, you know what I have on? Still my haggle hat. How do I still have my haggle hat on? What the heck happened there? I'm good now. I don't know what it was, but then it's weird. Get me up it there. Me to die. As a monk. Uncentered sucks. I'm mostly a fighter, so it doesn't affect me nearly as much as it does him. But it still does affect. Laying there, so yeah, it's one of those. An epitome blocks your path. No mortal may pass through this gate. I have to get aggro. I don't really want to get aggro. There he goes. There we go. It's fine. A little bit of lag there.
Yeah, he's got some DR that I'm not doing much against. Whew, he sure's hitting me hard, though. Take my emergencies. I was hoping he would get the aggro off of me. damage them more oh polar ray man polar ray sucks oh here I can take oh didn't last long enough he was actually smart in repositioning himself how do we get the other one they almost done. Almost got it. These guys aren't bad. Yeah, we have to walk back. It's one thing I don't like about being the group who gets right. Sorry, if there's anything interesting, we'll save it for you. It's not a bad walk, it's just... After all that... You gotta walk back. Unless you got D door. And sometimes you bring friends, like yeah. I hear following me. You run out of inventory space right at the uh, trophy? <laughs> yeah. That's annoying. Is it this way? Here's a D door tent, alright, and in case you want to go get that other chest. I guess I could have gone up the other tower. Titan, you did. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm not going to make it, which is good, because I don't need to make it, do I? I need to get back that way, though. I always get turned around in this place. Maze of twisty passages, they all look alike. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, I didn't make it. Crap. That's not what I wanted to happen. You have got to go on the offensive immediately on this one. When you're as low as I am. Gotta get a couple of those guys down. 
so you can manage the rest of them somewhat. I may not make it. Come on, there we go. There we go. If I can get up this stupid... I should be okay now. This should be cakewalk. The golem coming. I think we're good. Yep. The loot. Gotta get the loot. Oh, uh, one of the guys actually followed me the whole way. That would be hilarious. Get all the way to the treasure and then some stupid idiot takes me down. Alright. So did I get everything out of all the chests? Yay. Get my mouse back. Right. I did get this one. Alright. That wasn't so bad. The only thing I have left on my list is Devil Assault, if anybody's interested. Which one? Uh, Devil's Assault? Yeah. <laughs> this impressive I've only seen the, the uh... Tomb of the Wizard King. Uh, what do you call it? The... Charisma one of those. I, I've never seen another one. Still have mummy rot? I thought I took care of that. Teleport is awesome. Did most of the quests without mummy rot. That was interesting. Normally I get it right at the start and I just keep it because, you know, you're going to get it again if you have it. I could go to a spirit binder on the ship. Or I could just go you guys done? do this myself. Doing oh, Devil's Salt. That would be the last one. Oh, that one's fine. My great axe was the only thing that happened. Interesting. Yeah, you get a lot of loot in that quest. This time, making sure to take my haggle hat off. That happens sometimes. One of the things about switching gear is that you uh, sometimes forget to switch it back. Looks like I'm getting a little bit of that thing where I don't know if it's lag or what, but stuff doesn't, the uh, details of items doesn't want to show up. It happens. There you go, Rain. You destroyed your factory. Now you're really dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was laughing at the uh, LFM for. That's cool, Titan. That's a good drop. Spies in the house, EE. -E. <laughs> no, thanks. I do not have an orchard run in me. Although I'd like to do that, I don't think I have it in me. Devil's Salt, you really don't have to think much. 
Kill the casters first, kill the rest, you're done. Not a big deal. Orchard, especially Inferno. Just too much thought required. Going in the marketplace, right? Yeah. starting to feel it now. I should be able to make it through this. This will get me... Do I have 150k left? Yeah, this will give me a good chunk of that. Tomorrow I should be able to get up to level 23 then. AFK about two minutes. Okay. Okay. We'll just wait here. Yeah, at our levels. Won't be too bad, but we got some crowd control and such would be good. Oh, the buffs. 51, 52 minutes of greater heroism, that's nice. Out of curiosity. Yeah, my jump's in 83 now. <laughs> that amuses me when stuff like that happens. 83 jump. Well, at level 28, it's on Thelonis. It should be in the upper right-hand corner. You ready? Stormreach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the air. Guttural chanting X, livers of black metal sprout from the passageways flanking this room. Cradled in their bands, uh, Titan, you better hurry. Infernal portals of the Shavarath. The portals of Shavarath where with activity. That was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, it's the Lana's killstorm. No problem. The screen's busy, I know it can blend in sometimes if you're not actually looking for the detail. And I get asked that fairly you often. Tell me so. if you get on that shelf up there. I tried so many times. Hmm. Never seen that. the fact they can trip demons. Um, this is probably the last thing I'm running tonight. Uh, it's been four hours. So, and it's about my bedtime, so uh, yeah. Probably just Devil Salt. Uh, but we just started that, so it's going to be, what, 25, 27 minutes, something like that. Probably end right about five hours on the stream. Uh, but coming up at 2 a.m. my time is uh, the debut of another group playing on the same channel. And then tomorrow there's three different streams going to be going on throughout the day and evening. So there's plenty to come still. Um, me personally will be ending here shortly. Within a half hour probably. 
Well, if there's something else really good going on that I can't imagine what it would have to be to... Okay, a mostly full shred run. Shred, mm -hmm. A mostly full shroud run that has four spots left open. That would probably get me to stay. Other than that, probably not much else. Even though it is, you know, probably one of the most taken off vacation days of the year, I do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Saving my vacation for cashing out mostly. Should have got my necromancer. This. Yeah, once you start getting tired and some of this stuff, it you can make really stupid mistakes and die bring the whole party down. So I try not to do that if possible. Oh, there we go. There he is. I think there was more than that. We're keeping up pretty well with these guys. Uh lag, lag, lag. So again, I ha I still have uh, anniversary cards in most servers. I want to trade to Thelanus. If you have cards you want to trade, let me know. To Thelanus, I'll give you my cards in that server. Give me yours on Thelanus, whatever. Um, not sure I'm being clear. I'm starting to get fuzzy. Uh, there's a post on the DDO forums that lists all the cards I have and the character names and all that. If you're interested in that, or you can send me an email or PM or something. That's fine too. Um, I stream most Tuesdays. I'll be, as far as I know, the next few Tuesdays I'll be here in normal time, for the normal length of time. And again, we've got a full day of streaming on this channel tomorrow, starting at 2 a.m. my time, here shortly, a couple hours. He ignored my trip. That jerk. Um, my guild on Flannus is the Frag. We are recruiting. We are very casual. We do not have a guild chest. We do have an airship with buffs and such. Um, static group on Thursday nights. We have no other regular nights. We have no raid nights. We just sort of, whoever's on wants to run either run solo or sees if anybody else wants to run, it's very casual. No pressure. We had a post in the forums from Thelanus not too long ago, I think it was in the past week or two, by Slow DM, I believe. About recruiting. We do have a couple new members recently um, that's been working out. A couple days a week some of us do epic stuff. Um, we did a giant hold tour on epic normal the other day just to get the favor out of the way. You know, all that stuff. Cool. Killstorm. Yeah, it's a uh, Schedule should be below the stream there, um, if you're on the web. If you're on a device, it, if you tap the video and then tap the I button, you'll see the schedule there, I believe. Of course, if you follow myself and DDO stream, then you'll get email notifications from Twitch when we start streaming and all that. I believe I've run with some Stormlords before. 
I've run with several different groups. Um, I've been in several different guilds, but that's been years ago. I've pretty much been with the Frag for the past, I don't know, three or four years. They originally uh, on the European server and then came over to Thelonis when that... So I wasn't part of that, I wasn't really around then, so I wasn't, I'm not sure if it was a merge or what happened, but something like that, I mean, they ended up on Thelonis. I really think those first three waves are the worst. Because it's so long before the shrine. These are the waves, although they have more difficult mobs. You got a shrine between the two, so it's not as big a deal. Personal preference, some people open the chest right away. I wait till the end. Doesn't really matter. People pl do that differently. Uh, I don't really care. I just don't loot till the end. I just have it. Uh, I missed my primal scream. It's one thing about running off destiny. My main is Shalana. That's the one I'm running now when I run the most. Just ETR'd yesterday. Plus 100 physical resistance bonus. From right. what? Uh, from P with the Queen. Audience with the Queen. Oh, that's really cool. Savage war cries of Shabarat's devil armies issue forth from the portals. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Oh, uh, did he damage to him? Let's see, it's on this side right Yep, he got him. This guy's the most annoying. These spell bows are the second most annoying. Razor was the third most annoying because they can do that hamstring and such. Uh, it's annoying. As a melee, it's really annoying to be uh, slow moving. I don't necessarily recognize the names five of your <coughs> characters. Um, doesn't mean we have group together at some point or something, but, uh, yeah. I like the plus 300 hit points when I get it, too. How come I tripped him way back there? Yeah. Not too much bad stuff. We'll take those out in two hits. I've been playing this character for... Well, this is my first character, so... 
I don't know, however long I've been playing, which has been several years, because I've taken several breaks. Um, I've been playing since shortly after I went free to play, I believe. I haven't been playing continuously, or not always on this character, but I have been playing a while. I just recently, earlier this year, finally got this character to Epic, so... Yeah, when you come back, there's things that have changed. <laughs> I had like a year and a half break, and that I broke right around the time Handsome Pass came, I think, so coming back was a shock. All sorts of things had changed. All these new enhancements, the Free Hearts of Wood, Raiders Reward Boxes, all this stuff. It's like, oh, hey, look, this stuff. Um, I just started getting some of the Epic Orchard gear recently. Some good stuff in there. It's all high level though, and everything else I have is under Epic, so... And this is on the ETR grind at the moment. I just restarted that. So I'm not really going to get to use much of that stuff very often. Not that I don't want, still want to get it, but... I was concentrating more on my level 20 stuff, because that's more important to, on the ETR run, is to get the level 20 stuff set, for me at least. Makes more sense to get a good level 20 set so you can start right off strong. That epic antique great axe is the thing I need. The last piece of it. So I've been running the snitch, but I haven't had a drop. Hopefully I don't have to wait for U24 to get it, so I'd like to get it before then. As the wave of devils ebbs, a leader of Shavaran steps through the port to engage him. Is he doing his teleport all to all day every day thing? That's annoying. Yeah, I've never done that raid. Um, there's several things I haven't done in, in the game still. I do not own Thunder Home or Haunted Halls. Maybe tomorrow with the sales. Um, if you weren't on earlier, you didn't see. Cordovan gave out some turbine point codes, first of all. And secondly, he said that the Black Friday sales are starting tomorrow. Generally, he announces those on his stream, so. I would anticipate around lunchtime tomorrow, my time, Eastern U.S., that, uh, yeah, the teleport constant thing is annoying. Anticipate that during his stream tomorrow we'll find out more about the sales, and they may even start then. Nope, not for sure, but given what he said earlier, and the fact that he's streaming tomorrow, and he usually gives at least a hint. I'm pretty sure we'll at least hear about what they are. If not, start them around that time. Which I'm all for. I'm eager to see what all that's going to be. My two main things were Thunder Home and Hunt Halls at Eating Star, and then maybe a UMD Tome, and then maybe a uh, Fate Point Tome. We'll see about those. But Haunted Halls and Thunder Home for sure, if they get a good sale. And I'm hoping they'll, they will. I own all the other packs, so I'm not really concerned about anything else. Adventure pack-wise. I've still got some Astral Shard, I've still got some points. I've always stood on this box. A lot of people do that. See what I get this time. A spot of tea? I don't mind if I do. I gain what? Four royalty to all stats. 
didn't do so well. Yeah, it's still plus two damage, right? What, yeah. What's it called? A, a royalty bonus? Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty sweet. It must stack with everything. Yep. Oh, I forgot to meditate. Oh well. Come on, I was staying right for him. I had. He already got the other one. It's on the other side, I forget. That worked, too. Go off the neck from it. Yeah, I think those raids are uh, not the highest thing anymore. I did haunted halls once when I was VIP briefly on a Zerg run, so I didn't really experience it. I just went through, which is fine because I understand you have to run it once to unlock the um, other uh, was extended and commentary stuff. Every so I'm cool with I that. Your name, I think of Boom well. <laughs> the Shanana. Yep. TV show. Let's get this guy still. Oh, there we go. Finally, he tripped like he was supposed to. Here it comes from here. There he is. Oh, I do have a trip ready. So I'm looking forward to getting Haunted Halls and being able to do the extended commentary and take my time and check it out. Kind of thing. That'd be fun. Guild is probably going to be up for that. I have a couple people who like to explore every nook and cranny and flower sniff and all that. <laughs> yeah, I read some of those. I've watched like Queen's group on Saturday nights running haunted halls, so I know there's a lot of stuff to do in there, and I've seen some of it done, but it's different than being in myself. And sure, second I've done an E. At least the first time. I'm excited they're going to do the the uh, Temple of Elemental Evil. Give it the hundred halls treatment, so there'll be a lot of fun stuff in that. Oh, I can meditate here. Should be a lot of fun. That's a ways away, though. No. Oh, that's pretty good. So yeah, I still need to do a couple raids in the game. I haven't done Lord of Blades, haven't done Tower of Despair. Um, haven't done, of course, the Thunder Home ones. Haven't done Fall of Truth. Um, what else was there? Horns blare through the portals to announce the arrival yeah. of the attack's fiendish leader. This will be the final battle. <laughs> Why did he trip over there? <sighs> oh, games sometimes are just funny. to look. Uh, let's use this. Up. There we go. I think I need a button for that one. It's too handy. Not used to extending because I'm running Grandmaster, but it's a nice little bit of heal. And... 
champion of Shadowrath has fallen. The assault has been quelled. Yeah, buddy. For now. Let's see if we get anything good. Couple. Really? That much crap? Alright, one in low and large ingredient and one token. Really? That's it. That was kind of a crap pull. Oh well. You know, that happens sometimes. So that was 24 minutes, 23 seconds on Devil Assault. Come out here, get reward, and then I'm going the heck to bed. So. Guard of great power. Nice. That's a good pull. Small devil skill, small sulfur stone, and small twisted crap. You got pretty good on ingredients then. I did not. Anyway, thanks all. Um, it was good running with you. Uh, I am going to bed. Stop in the stream here shortly. Uh, look me up next week if you want to run some more. Same time, place, everything. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks a lot for the run. Yep, thanks. Take care. Alright, guys. Let me retake that quest, do a little bit of inventory management while I try to remember what I'm supposed to say at the end here. So, everybody, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's been fun hanging out with everybody, chatting, playing. I appreciate it. Uh, I do this most weeks, every week so far since I started, but there will be probably some gaps here and there. Hopefully we'll let you know ahead of time so you can plan ahead. Um, we're filling up more and more slots on the community stream team, so there will be more activity on this channel. Off this channel I also stream. Um, I had a nine hour stream on Saturday. Nine or more. I don't remember what the time was on that one. I think it was nine and a half hours. Um, stream this game here and there on my personal channel, which is on screen top left corner, twitch tv slash cmorgu. I appreciate everybody watching, following, um, whatever you want to do. If you want to send me an email, email address is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, TDSstreamQA7 at cmorgan.com. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, there's. Check out the schedule. This channel's active quite a bit. Um, lots of different people to watch, different play styles, different levels. Uh, I watch Grizzly most weeks. I watch Queen and her group on Saturday nights, as long as I can stay awake anyway. They do some fun stuff. Um, they do a lot of high-level raids, which is interesting. And I'm out of egg space. Interesting. All right. I need to get over my crafter and empty that out. Um, yeah, thanks, Titan. It was fun. Thanks, Big Jim and everybody else. Sure, Killstorm. Thanks. Uh, so, yeah, hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Uh, this stream will, should be up on the DDO stream, Twitch, and my YouTube channel, if nothing else. And uh, hope to see you in game sometime um, on the forums and all that. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for watching. Good night. Oh, and yeah, that four four-ish hours. We have another group starting tonight. It's their debut. It's the Damsels of DDO. So check them out. Give them a warm welcome for their debut on DDO stream. Alright guys, thanks a lot. See you next week.